Okay, so now we're going to start on his head, which is a very important part of Welshie's. Uh, first, we're going to scissor around his ear. You can use, sorry, he's just wiggling. You can use thinning shears or curved scissors for this, whichever you're more comfortable with. The biggest thing about doing this is when you are scissoring an ear, you always scissor to the tip. Never scissor towards the head unless you absolutely know what you're doing. And still, I don't do it. Some groomers do, but I prefer to scissor towards the tip. And the main reason for it is it is a heck of a lot easier to cut an ear when you scissor towards the base of the ear versus towards the tip. Um, and also, um, I, f I like it because I get a smoother line when I uh, scissor this way. And all this stuff from the front of the ear can come off. Brush it all out. Good boy, Joe. And scissor away. And I'm going to take my thinning shears, I'm just popping this hair up here and just thinning that. I don't know if you can hear the banging behind you, but Hennessy is having a party in her crate right now. Okay, he's going to sit for this part. So as you can see with the opposite side of his head, that is a lip ball curled in. Oh, hold on, Joe. Hold on. Is you want um, a straight line from, I'm going to try and hold him so he's looking straight at the camera, from the widest part of the cheek all the way forward. Well, she's get a brick head. Um, it's a little bit harder to do with uh, a dog that's not stripped because you literally pull the hair to create the shape. But with uh, an unstripped dog, you have to try and thin it in. He's a little bit wiggly for his head. We're going to do the best we can with him. Uh, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with his eyebrow. And I'm fluffing all the hair on the top of his head and thinning this forward. I'm not putting my scissors on his head. I'm just thinning any hair that's sticking up. And then I'm going to comb it all forward again. And... and give him a really small little eyebrow. Oh, it's all right, bud. And then, here. I'm gonna thin this hair in the front corner of his eye out. And then thin this hair in between his eyes out. Just this stuff in between the eyes. So you have some separation between the eyebrows. Oh, it's okay, but good boy. Good boy, Joe. And then I'll comb the eyebrow in towards the middle of his head and thin that stuff off. And then fluff all this up. Thin this shorter. I'm going to move him forward a bit just because he's getting close to the back of the table. Oh, good boy, Joe. I know you're getting tired, aren't you? And this is another reason why we like to keep our, we like at my salon, we have a four hour minimum. It does not mean the dog is getting groomed for four hours. It means that way, if they need a break, they can have a break. Um, it's a lot less stressful on them that way. And especially with elderly dogs, they're not feeling as rushed and stressed. 
Okay, so I'm just thinning the line between where I shaved his face and where his beard is to blend that in. Good boy. Good man. And then I'm gonna comb it all down. Here, Joe. Here, Joe. Um, also, great handle, their beard hair. It's a very good little handle to have. Helps you have a little bit more control over the dog. I'm doing this on a little bit of an angle here and from his cheek to the front of his face, thinning all that stuff off. Sorry, Shauna. Joe's dictating where we go right now. I'm fluffing this all out. And then I'm just going to thin it so that it is more in the shape of a brick. If Joe will let me do that. And sometimes you just have to do a little bit at a time. Comb it down, fluff it out. Good boy, Joe. Come here, bud. Good boy, Joe. Good man. He's like, no, I don't want you to do it anymore. Then, just gonna tidy up the little scraggly ends of the front of his beard. Good man. Good boy, Joe. Good boy. So yeah, I'm going to stop there with them just because sometimes it's not about perfection, it's about what makes the dog comfortable. And we've got a pretty good shape. As you can tell by the other side, I was able to do a bit more here beforehand because he wasn't as tired. But there you have your brick from the front. It's almost one big long piece. And then from the front, if you look at it from the front, just want to go from that side, from his nose, you can see that this is pretty much straight from this, the widest part of his cheek to the front of his nose. It's a straight line. And that's how you get your brick. It's just a lot of thinning, fluffing it out, thinning it down, fluffing it again, thinning it, just till you get that shape. And then yes, nice little eyebrows. They're not a schnauzer. They don't get these big, huge brows unless that's something that you specifically want. They get little eyebrows and there's a definition between their eyes too from where they don't have, this isn't full. That's more of a Lakeland type head where they leave this more fuller. So yeah, that is the Welshie head. Sorry, I couldn't get it all perfect for you guys, but that's good. Hey, Joe, he did a good, he did really good. What a good man. Okay, I'm gonna give Joe some cookies right away, but first I'll just quickly show you the side of Joe here. He's got his nice column leg on the front, nice short underline, and it helps show off the nice depth of chest of the Welshies, and then you make their hawk look nice and low. If you have the hair here, it's straight up and down from the leg to the toe. And then you shorten it, it's nice and short off the thigh and just rolls into the front of the leg furnishings. And yeah, there we go. Thank you guys very much and I hope this is really helpful for you. Have a good day.